Saturday, April 4, 2015. This is Mercedes Diesel Guy, and this is my 1983 Mercedes 240 Diesel. Uh, I'm getting back to work today. Picking up where I left off last week, still trying to get the differential out of the uh, rear uh, so I can pull the drive shaft. Also, just wanted to quickly show you here that it's the first time in months that I've been able to open the garage door. It's, uh, it's very windy today, but uh, and it's not really warm, but it's kind of just warm enough that I can get some fresh air in the garage. So I'm going to get to work and I'll update you with my progress at the end of the day. Okay, I'm under the car and I have the differential rear cover plate off. And this is my first and very likely last look inside this differential ever. Um, now, when I drained the fluid, I didn't notice any metal shavings or anything in it and I'm looking in here and uh, certainly no expert, expert but everything actually looks pretty good to me uh, keep in mind this unit has probably 300,000 miles on it but uh, I certainly wouldn't know by looking at it now the reason I took the differential cover off is that there's actually two clips I have to pull one, uh, let me see if I can uh, point it out, it's really right about here I think this is the tab on the end of it and one on the other side now once I pull those clips I'll be able to remove the CV axle so uh, that's where I am at the moment I'm actually gonna take a quick little coffee break and uh, just look something up online and then I'm gonna get back to work so uh, my next step will be to pull the clips in there uh, remove and remove the axles and then once I have the differential cover cleaned up a little bit I'm actually going to loosely bolt it back on just to keep everything uh, uh, just to keep as much dust and everything out of here as I can okay well I'm at my stopping point for the day a um, couple of things I actually did have to unbolt the brake calipers because uh, they were actually interfering with removing the CV axles from the car so, which I found out once I pulled the sir clips from inside the differential. So, I did that. I pulled the uh, brake pads first, then unbolted the calipers. Incidentally, it looks like both these rear calipers are pretty damn well frozen up. So, uh, those are definitely going to be on my list for replacement, as will these rubber brake hoses here in the rear, which look pretty damn worn out. Um... Another thing I noticed, I've heard talk that there should be some sort of a spacer between where the between the axle and the differential where the two meet, um, and I did not notice any spacers when I took the axles off the car. Um, so I'm wondering if the previous owner's mechanic lost the original spacers. I'm not sure if it's going to be an issue on the driver's side, but on the passenger side. Uh, uh, it seemed like there was just a little bit of play that shouldn't have been in there, so I'm gonna do a little research on that tomorrow when I get back out here uh, Whenever that is I'm actually gonna Bolt the rear cover back on once again just to keep crud out of there and Then I'm gonna do my best to unbolt the differential and get it out of the car and like I said, that'll give me room to do a whole bunch of other stuff. So, this is Mercedes Diesel Guy. Thanks for watching.